What's up guys, Tark here. In today's character spotlight, we are taking a look at Charles Henry Sanson, the Executioner. So I'm going to throw his pictures on the screen right now, and he does have some pretty awesome artwork, in my opinion at least, uh, for his fourth ascension anyway. It is actually really cool, I really do enjoy the artwork. Uh, it's not just like a pose, like it has like some sort of really cool background. I mean, obviously he's posing, but you know. I like it and then I think that's the guillotine behind him because he's the executioner and all that stuff yeah, it's pretty cool I really like it so he is an assassin character so he will be effective against writers and weak to casters and he is a two-star as well so he will go up to level 65 and his stats at level 65 will be 5456 attack and he will have 8306 HP so that's pretty good stats um, if you grill him out, he doesn't even hit 10,000 attack and he doesn't hit 14,000 HP. Uh, so you probably don't want to grill him for stats. I probably wouldn't grill him at all, to be honest. But um, he's not a bad character. So let's go ahead and jump over and take a look at his skills here. So his first skill is going to be called Executioner A++, which will increase the damage against evil enemies for 3 turns, being a 40% increase at level 1 and a 60% increase at level 10. So this is really nice because, well, any enemy that's considered evil will, you'll do a ton more damage against. And that's always nice. And it's a bit of a broader category than just, like, males or females. I, I'm actually, I don't even know if that's true. But it feels like it would be a broader category than something like that. So, and it's a huge increase. So you're going to do a ton of damage. Uh, unfortunately, it's only a self buff, which kind of sucks. But, um, I guess it would be a little bit too strong if, <laughs> if it was an AoE skill. Okay, so his second skill is called Medicine A, which will greatly restore HP to one ally. Uh, now this is pretty cool because you get to pick which character you want to heal. And it's 1000 HP at level 1 and 3000 HP at level 10. So it's pretty nice. Um, you can also strengthen this up with the strengthening quest power-ups, you know, mission thing. And this will also remove debuffs from that ally as well. It doesn't actually increase how much HP you heal, but removing debuffs and healing is really nice. So you'll definitely take that. And then his third skill here is going to be called Human Study B, which increases damage against human enemies for 3 turns. Again, this is only a self buff. It's a 40% increase at level 1 and 60% at level 10. So, if you're going against a human enemy or evil character or whatever, you're going to be doing tons of damage. I mean, I guess it's, it's, it's a pretty good increase. He's a 2 star character, so his stats aren't really that good. But it's still pretty solid damage. Again, it's only a self buff, but if you're going against a human or an evil enemy, you might consider using this guy on your team if he is leveled up at least a little bit. Moving on here to his passives, it's going to be called Presence Concealment D, which increases critical star drop rates by 4%. Moving on here to his ascension materials. So the first ascension obviously is really simple, you just need a couple pieces. Uh, the second, third, and fourth, though, are a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Like, you need 11 bones for a second ascension, which is kind of a lot. And then the third ascension, you need one demon heart. Like, that, the third to the fourth ascension is, like, basically nothing. Like, one demon heart, you know, demon hearts are kind of hard to get, but still, you need one. Like, you're probably going to go from ascension... 3 to 4, or from like 2 to 3, and then 3 to 4 in like, I guess it depends if you have the, the monuments or not, but you'll ascend him to his third ascension really quickly, and then you need the 6 homunculus babies and 2 demon hearts for his final ascension, which again isn't really that much, um, you know, you probably have them laying around if you haven't been using them for the Nero Fest, or the other events that have come out since recording this video, I guess. Uh, so yeah, you don't need a whole lot for this guy. And then moving on here to his skill enhancement materials. Again, you don't need a whole lot. Um, you need the bones and the forbidden pages and homunculus babies. You do need a lot of the bones and homunculus babies, though. But I don't know if you're necessarily going to level up the skills right away. Unless you're going against a human or an evil enemy. But yeah, you know, it's not a whole lot. The, f the pages are a little bit tricky but give it time we'll be able to get them so moving on here to his craft essence is going to unlock my loath my loathsome life 
and uh, while equipped it will increase death rate of all allies by 10% and increase their noble phantasm gain rate by 10% as well so that's pretty cool you know anytime you have a chance to increase your death rate you can throw that on there and kind of build a death team with death characters I guess um, so that kind of works in with other characters there's other characters that have similar craft essences that do the same thing and then you can just throw them all together have a really high death rate and then just use your noble phantasms and hopefully get that death to go off I'm definitely gonna make like a death team where everything's centered around using death but until I level up characters and get all the abilities unlocked it's gonna be a bit of until I can actually go ahead and get those uh, so moving on here to his command cards and his noble phantasm he has three quick one arts one buster command card so ideally you want to use him on a quick team you can also use him on a buster team though because his noble phantasm is buster and that will deal significant damage to a single enemy and then on the overcharge it has a low chance to inflict death and decrease the defense of that target for three turns and i find this a bit odd because he's an executioner so why does he have a low chance for death it should be a higher chance so I don't know that's just my personal opinion I feel like that's a bit weird but even though it says a low chance it does max out at I believe 80% so that's pretty good it's definitely not a low chance and then you can do a strengthening power-up quest for this as well and then this will just raise your your damage a little bit and it will increase the amount of defense that you decrease the enemy by if they do survive on the overcharge it doesn't actually affect the death rate which is really weird but what can you do so now for some of the craft essences you can use on this character uh, ideally you want to just use him in a quick card setup with other characters and focus on like death and stuff like that and crits uh, so kaleidoscope is always good to get your null phantasm ready and then you can use grander for the 15% increase or imaginary around for the 25% increase as well uh, there's not really too many craft essences out at the moment that you can use for this guy so if you do have his level 10 craft essence then you probably just want to throw that on him for now at least until we get better things so yeah that's uh, pretty much going to wrap up this video here for samson i will leave you guys with his null phantasm and i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Namor,